the following broadcast of Funny Sports on Van TV is supported by Joseph's Restaurant. Three, two, one. Touchdown, Joseph! He's got it! Oh! Look out. Beautiful! From a jam-packed, energy-filled St. Croix Valley Rec Center. Alongside Don Ackerman, my name is Tuttle. We hope you've caught your breath from game one. Game two is slated to be just as good. Stillwater and Hill Murray, when these two teams get together, it is always a fight to the finish. Section playoff, section finals. These two teams have met in playoff games, but it's been over a decade <laughs> since Stillwater, or I should say, since Hill Murray has come to Stillwater and played the Ponies. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> and welcome to hundreds of fans here tonight inside the St. Croix Valley Rec Center. Now, Hill Murray, a really good team um, this season, but we talked about off air. They played in the games that they've lost. They played really close games. Of course, Remington Keppel, the goaltender in net, is going to be huge for Hill Murray tonight. How do you see this one going down? I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I, I mean, looking this game up, I was a little nervous about the number of assists that you see yeah. from Nick Pierre. Uh, 23, 23, 15, and 14. So you have a team that helps each other out, and those yeah. kind of teams are hard to defend. Tonight's broadcast presented by Joseph's Restaurant. We are underway in skating from the St. Croix Valley Rec Center as Joe Palotichuk will go off sides here to start this one. You rewind back to last year's Section 4 AA semifinal. Hill Murray in the final shot that Jesse Brown would face as goaltender of the Stillwater Ponies. Hill Murray scored in overtime to advance to the section final in which they would lose to White Bear Lake. But these two teams met in the section finals in the two years that Stillwater went to state in 2014 and 2016. Of course, who can forget that 2016 game? Noah Cates scoring in overtime, one to nothing on that game that ended up making multiple national top ten list that night so there is a lot of history built in between these two teams and both of these teams similar records currently seated two and three in the section four rankings and the winner of this game could possibly end up being the number one seed should white bear lake falter a couple of times down the stretch as well so a lot on the line here tonight and obviously this their only regular season meeting since they compete in two different conferences. Stillwater keeping it out of the zone for now. Hill Murray, they'll shoot it in. Yeah, and White Bear faltering is on Stillwater's list in a couple weeks. Exactly, and we will have that game for you, and we'll talk about that here as the night progresses from the St. Croix Valley Rec Center. Same as Reagan will paddle it in. Puck bounced up in the air. Here comes Dylan Cottbout back the other way, and he just throws it in deep. Nice spin move by Cam Benson to get free. Game center, throws it in. Remington Keppel, one of the best goaltenders in the state, out of his net to play the puck. Here come the Pioneers up the rank. Nick Pierre, right there, number nine in black, committed to play for the University of Wisconsin Badgers. A big hit, open ice hit there by the Ponies at the other end. Shot on it, the save, easy one for Logan Bees. Well, that's the first shot on net, but I think we're going to see a lot of action here. You yeah. look at, like, the statistics here, and it's just unbelievable. You know, you've got 17 games, but 15 goals and 15 assists for Charlie Strobel. I mean, yeah. you just see that kind of thing across the board. Nick Pierre, 12 goals and 23 assists in 17 games. So you're talking a goal and an assist yeah. for these guys per game. That's crazy. Crazy numbers. But numbers you've come to expect that out of players that have done the green and black. Hill Murray... A historic program, of course, head coach Bill Lechner has led this team to a lot of success. Tice Tecito in the corner. Tecito winds and Ooh. fires and went wide. Kept what do you call corner. that green and black, the local Sioux? Yeah, they look a lot like the University of 
North Dakota playing out there. We'll cover it for a face-off. And like the University of North Dakota, rich history for Hill Murray. Won their fair share of state championships. And if you ask any Hill Murray of the fan, they say it's been too long since they've won their last state championship. Yeah. Two those, years ago, section champions. Those well, are some really pretty green and black jerseys. Yeah. Really crisp. <laughs> and the Stillwater will just get it in deep. Bo Dustin works it in. Palatichuk brings it around. And here Palatichuk out through center. Connects with Owen Quas. Quas the shot. He's made the save. And he'll freeze it. No rebound, it just sat there. Yep. Hill Murray with the early advantage. Another look at Owen Quast's shot attempt. Yeah, Eicher did a great job chasing that puck down, just waiting for an opportunity. It didn't happen. Face off, controlled by Cam Benson. Uh, possession quickly overtaken by the ponies. Mm. Henry Eichen trying to wrap around and score. D to D pass up to the top to Palatichuk. At the circle, poked away. Ponies of the one on one back the other way. Here come the attackers joining the fray. Mm. Well, nothing doing there for the ponies. They hit into the wall. And it's just thrown in deep back the other way. Bees out of his net to play it. Stillwater had Manning on that last play behind him, but he didn't yeah. see him, so. Hill Murray gets to take it away. Yep, and here come the ponies up. Noah Tussie, the University oh. of Minnesota commit. That's offside. Fancy skating, but <laughs> number 35 could not stay onside. Speaking of sharp-looking jerseys or logos, I have always been a fan of the horse and the colt logo that this boys hockey team portrays on their jersey, an alternate to the normal Stillwater Ponies logo. Yeah, it is such a different look from their uh, Tuffy in the slot. From the S Pony era. Yep. I don't know what else to call it. Up the rink, here's Nick Pierre, seven in black. Pierre deking around. I love a good spin move. As Pierre have dodged the hit. Pitch it out. Alex Begley at the top. That one puck just dumped in by Reagan. In behind. Hill Murray trying to set up an attack. Pioneers at the top. Wrist shot from the point. Ooh. Deflected. Logan Bees didn't see it. In the corner. Pioneers trying to set something up off of the zone. Pierre a shot. That one was deflected by saw that one. Dylan Godbout. Nice here's, shots, too. Here's Quast. He just dumps it in. Hill Murray will get off for a change. Wiley in the corner. Trying to work it out. Good pressure by the Pioneers. And it's just thrown back in by Leah Gruba. Six foot one defenseman. Tony's pressured in their own end. Here comes Dario. Feeds it off to Roski. Looking to get back in the middle to Dario. Good defense by the Pioneers. Works it back up top. Centering pass, mm. nobody home. This is Dustin. He took a big hit. Fans coming to their feet. Oh boy, and there's another big shoulder into the glass. Ooh. Shot on that whistle wide. Things have calmed down, at least for the moment. You know that won't last long. No, so far the Pioneers have really kept Stillwater from putting anything together. And an icing call. It goes back down to the other end of the rink. Feels like earlier the Pioneers have yep. taken pot shots at bees, whereas Stillwater, they're kind of chucking it at the net more than they're shooting it, I think. And so I give uh, Hill Murray the early advantage. Which gets you nothing, by the way. <laughs> you get no points for that. Just an observation. Exactly. Pony's in the corner. In behind the cage. Looking to set something up in front of the net. Feeds it up top to Manning. Wrist shot deflected. Nice save by Kiffel. Comes up. Keegan O'Brien. Working hard down there. Here comes Charlie Strobel back the other way. Strobel the second leading scorer on this team. 
Puck fed off, back to Strobel. Picked up, shot on net, stopped in front. Ponies will rush. Mike Sweetland back to the way. Sweetland Ooh. centering pass! Just under the tape. That was the path to Sweetland. That was beautiful. Here's Eichen back the other way. Henry Eichen got his hold of steam. Saved by Bees, and it's cleared out. Nice unassuming pass there. Yep. If uh, one of the Pioneers were there, that could have been built into something. Top line on the ice for the Ponies. Tussie's got to feed it back. As Stengel was a little bit too out front for an offside. A little bit too out front of Stengel. Pilata chucked back there. Poked away by the D. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's Turnover. juicy. Tocito. Tocito looking to get it back. And the Pioneers control. Here comes Godbell. He turned it over. Ponies will take it. Right along, along the wall. Puck gets center ranks. Here's Jared Jensen. Jensen, center. Didn't get through. Mm, Bees was all over that. He slid to the right before the pass even happened. Good hit in the corner. He's trying to feed it up top. Stillwater doing a pretty good job defensively here so far in this game in the midst of a change now. And a nice. Both teams trying to get a sustained attack. It's been a lot of one and done type of stuff for both Hill Murray and Stillwater. Two shots on goal apiece for both teams. Some pretty strong shots, too. Yep. Face-off is controlled by Ryan Ruski. Centering pass right in front. Nice save by Keppel. That Point was a blank. beautiful setup. Bring it around to Reagan. Samus Reagan will look to carry it out. Big hit. Stays on his feet. Here we go. Ruski is shot. Blocked. Now the Pioneers will hit the lines back the other way. Nick Pierre skating hard at the other end of the rink. Pierre centering pass. Oh, boy! Way in the wood and open ice. Steered aside in the corner. Jensen didn't get a goal, but he got the goal hit. That's yep. for sure. Usually he took that shot that you get after you've scored where you pay for it, but you don't mind. Buck in the corner, jostling for position. Ronnie Donar lost it. Here come the Pioneers Ooh. back the other way. Right on the team. Get by a couple. Shot it wide. Great move to get free. Good vision by that pass. Unbelievable. Up top. And a save by Bees. Yeah, Bees wants to cover that up. That's enough shooting at me. I don't like it. <laughs> Things are starting to heat up. Open ice hits. End to end. Yes. Great passing. And you know what? That's a recipe for... A penalty. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You're absolutely right. Face off controlled by the Pioneers. Shot steered aside by Bees. Well, Murray back up. One time shot wide. Leo Grubo will chase in the corner. Slot shot. He's still loose. Still loose. One pass. Bees. Net is open. He recovers. And everyone went back to get the puck. There was no one in yep. front of the net that received a pass. In behind Bees as Stillwater will look to carry out great pressure for Hill Murray, making it tough to get things out of their own zone. And now it's Benson, Cam Benson looking to take it all the way, but he's worked over by Luke House. Great energy to get there, but if you're by yourself, yep. the defense is going to smack you down and take your puck away. Ponies have it on their own end as they'll look to get set up. At center, pushes it a little bit too far. Just dumping it in. In behind the net, here's Gruba. Gruba will carry it out. Good job by Strobel, two on two. Charlie shoots, saved by Bees. Number 21 was just waiting for that something to happen there. Owen oh, crossed on the other side. Bees is not going to give up any rebounds if he can help it. Another look. There you see Cross crash on the other side. Stick in hand, just waiting. Yep. 7.36 remaining first period. Tell the rule alongside Don Ackerman. It's pony hockey. 
here on VAC TV, and it's one of the bigger ones of the year. And we got another big one coming up in a couple of weeks against White Bear Lake. Yeah, if you're planning to come to one of those games, come early. <laughs> come early to get a good seat right in front of the glass. Because you know it's going to be a hard-hitting game. Even the visitor side is pretty full. Yeah. Of course, nobody in red and white wants to sit over there, but <laughs> oh, there's a chunk over there actually. So they can't find a side on the. They can't find a seat on the home side. At the half board is on the far side. Possession taken by Jared Jensen of Hill Murray. Buck fed ahead across center. Here comes Pierre. Crashes the line. He lost it. Forgot the puck. And Dario lifts it up. Good pass. Ponies gain the line. Two on two. Knocked down, and Pierre will get it. And Sweetland was tapping for that. He wanted the pass back. Fleischhacker, Matthew Fleischhacker. Stalwart on this team the last couple of years. Sounds like a good German name. Fleischhacker. Dumped in. Jawohl. <laughs> It's going to be tough for either team to get going. Both defensive structures have been good. Pass ahead, knocked away. Two ponies quickly converge after the pass found the stick of Dylan Godbout. Yeah, we might see some uh, puck volleyball again where they're, <laughs> where they're just slapping sticks at each other and knocking that puck off the ice. Yep. Pass to the center to Tussie. Went off his stick. He couldn't corral it. Ooh. Just got away. That was dangerous. Stengel in the corner. Noah Tussie trying to get around. Good defensive play by Samus Reagan, knocking him off the puck. Right out of the stick of Hunter Lassinger. In deep, Cooper Wiley is there defensively for the Ponies. Up top, there's a shot redirected a couple of times. Mm. And Tussie comes up with it. Noah Tussie in the far side corner over there. And a turnover in the wrong spot is going to turn to a goal here. Yep. Ponies will break out. A one on two. Turns into a two on three. Center! Saved by Kippel! A great chance for Stengel is turned away. What a save by Remington Kippel. Yeah, because that play was set up perfectly. And shut just as perfect. Another look, a great centering pass to Stengel. He just got the leg pad out there to kick it away. He gave up his stick to stop that puck. Face off, turns and fires. Keppel knocked it aside after the shot from right. Henry Lawrence. Probably not going to catch him sleeping, but you still got to try. <laughs> still got to try. Yeah like the wraparound. Shouldn't work, but <laughs> every now and then it does. But it does. So you got to try it. Pioneers trying to carry out of the zone. Stillwater students come to their feet. Tony's looking to break out at center. Games the line. There's a shot. Goes wide. A good hustle there by Evan Murr. In behind, fighting for it, a two-on-two two stalemate along the wall. In behind, Remington Keppel. Group is just going to freeze that as long as he can. Rusty on the far side. Henry Eichen reminds them, I'm here. <laughs> knock, on, knock. Yep, two-on-two. Two. Who's there? Henry Eichen. <laughs> Works it around for Haas. Nice pass through the skates. Leads it out. Here's Eichen. Two on one. Shot Ooh. goes high. Strobel was there for the rebound. He's looking to put something up on the mantle there. Popped up into the air. Another nice hit. Here's Fleischhacker looking to direct traffic. Two on four back the other way. Nothing to do with it. Comes back to Palatichuk. Pass a little bit too strong. No, no, no. Remington calls for the ice. Not going to happen. Under three minutes left in the first period.
Feeds it up ice for Pierre. Pierre leaves it off for Polotichuk. Battle down there in the corner. Man, I know it's cold out, but these defenses, they're like mosquitoes. They are just all over each other. Don't remind me. <laughs> they are. I mean, they're oh, pesky. The state bird. You, you can hold the puck <laughs> for about five seconds until someone's on you. Across the line and offside. It always baffles my mind is how every winter we can get negative degree temperatures. And, and they're somehow, back. some way, the mosquitoes come back. They do. <laughs> but I mean, I just was watching this and I was thinking, man, how pesky these defensive are. Guy has the puck, and within five seconds, he's got a stick yep. poking at him, knocking the puck loose. Tony's dumping in. Woo, wow. Nice hit behind the net. These guys are flying out here, having a good time. Here's Begley in behind. He's pressured. Shots even at six. We are seeing it go back and forth. Reagan feeds it ahead. Here's Tussie. Cross dunk to the other side. Four checking opportunity for Stillwater. Tussie against everybody else. Not a lot of room for anybody to get any space in this game. Eye off the glass. Lost uh -oh. it. Woo. What a save by Bees. I lost track of how many deeks there was on that yeah. play. Dangerous giveaway for the ponies. Looking to wrap around. Here's okay. Henry Lawrence. Intercepted. Great chance for the Pioneers in the slot. Bees scooped it up confidently. Refs checking to see if that net was dislodged. It was not. Or if it was, it replaced itself. Yeah. Well, still in. He's, he's got to check. He really thought it came off. I did too. Boy, it's uh, too bad that this game is so humdrum. <laughs> People just skating around, looking yeah. for stuff to do. I mean, you don't get three seconds out here. These guys are all over each other. A minute remaining here in the first period. Up to the top to Fleischhacker. Fleischhacker, good defense by the Pony. Redirecting it out of the way. This is Keegan O'Brien. He lifts it out, up towards center. Strobel puts on the brakes, advances it forward. Strobel Great job to stay on sides, too. Shoots it in deep. One cross down there for Hill Murray. Under 30 seconds. Down low. Up to Fleischhacker. Reverses it. At the circle. Shot goes high. Fleischhacker with five seconds left. Ponies just backhand this one out. Mm. And that'll end the period. After one. Pass skating hard. Hit. But it's nothing, nothing. After one. We'll be back. Good back TV. Right after this. I took this over in 1974, 19 years old, and started to develop the restaurant as a Big Ben restaurant here. I liked it so much that I decided I wanted to put my own stamp on it. So what I did was I bought everybody out and put my own name up in lights. That 45 years means a lot to us. That's huge. We're trying to stay current with what's available now. We gutted everything out. We changed all of it. We changed the floors to hardwood floors. We changed the ceilings, different elevations. We've added uh, a lot of wood to it. And when I was 19 years old, I never thought about having a bar. Now I have a bar. It blows them away when they walk in the door. Everybody says, wow, this is different. This is nice. We want to reciprocate. We want to say, hey, thanks for eating here. Thanks for supporting us. We're supporting you. So if the hospital does an event, we want to be part of it. If the chamber does an event, we want to be part of it. If the schools do an event, we want to be part of it. We want to help with that because of our success, because of you.
Let me tell you about the toughest guy on earth. He does the work of two jobs, but only gets paid for one. He's tough enough to feed the man who gave him a lifetime of nourishment. <clears throat> he has the crazy strength to lift the man that raised him up without even flinching. That's right. No employee of the month bonus check here. This guy, no, this warrior, will always be by his father's side, even if his dad will hardly remember. Good luck finding a gym to train for that. If this guy isn't the toughest guy on the planet, then I don't know who is. Caregiving is tougher than tough. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. Dennis McDump. Two more times. Come on. He's gonna collect in some kind of a basin up here. It is just an unbelievable experience and advantage that we're giving to kids. Back at the St. Croix Valley Rec Center. Nothing, nothing after one. This place is packed like a <laughs> California freeway. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and Ted LaRue alongside Don Ackerman. You mentioned the just the fear attendance. One of the probably the most attended game I've ever done here inside the St. Croix Valley Rec Center for this highly anticipated section 4 double matchup between Stillwater and Hill Murray. Now, let's talk about that first period. That was a period. No goals on the scoreboard. No team really had a big scoring chance, but both teams playing pretty well. Yeah, I mean, you, you saw it going back and forth. Shots are even. Yeah. Pretty, pretty even. Now it's 6-8, to eight, yeah. but it was. Yeah. I think Hill Murray has a slight advantage yeah. in, the, in the time possession that they've had and been able to put together a couple things. You see some yeah. opportunities, but like you said, nothing put together. Exactly. So Hill Murray might hold a slight advantage here right now over Stillwater. But what does Stillwater have to do to kind of take the advantage back? 
I mean, I haven't seen them really string together anything, so I think that's yeah. what you need to do. I mean, you've seen Hill Murray have more of those, like, they have a shot and there's a yep. guy flashing in, and right. so you need to, you know, have that kind of connection. I haven't seen Stillwater pull that together yet, and the one thing they can't do, you cannot have those turnovers in front of your goalie because oh, we yeah. saw that turn into a goal in the earlier Stillwater game. That yeah. can easily happen here with the talent that we have on the ice. I think these are two really good teams. The defense is really good. So far in this game, it's going to take a lot uh, to break through uh, in the second and then into the third periods. Now, game one of our doubleheader was no slouch in terms of an opener. Stillwater girls were down 2-0. They come back in the final two minutes to force overtime, and then, of course, the game winner to win 3-2 over Woodbury. That first game was amazing. Stillwater <laughs> dominated that first period. Yep. Woodbury dominated the second period. Yep. The third, it was like a free-for-all. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, it was 0-2. to two. The game yep. was over. You gotta, you're got you going to kill a power play. Yep. You pull the... I mean, just unbelievable. You, it, it's, all of it worked out, and yet, overtime. Woodbury is a dark horse in the section, uh, definitely. Uh, the way they played... Stillwater, a two-to-one loss in Woodbury, and now the way they played them today. That's a team that they don't overpower you. They're not necessarily faster than you, no. Nope. But they just hang around, and they. And Julius is solid. Yeah, so if they're led by great goaltending. Um, and Anna Julius is going to be able to lead them pretty far. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, it, they're a very dangerous team, and they can score quickly. You give them yeah. a chance, boom. Next thing you know, it was one-zero. Next thing, it was two-zero. It's unbelievable how Woodbury just. Didn't really dominate the yeah. game, but they were killing it on the scoreboard. Nothing, nothing. That'll do it here for the first intermission. Second period is coming up next. Hmm. Maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made her college years happen. Gotcha. Opening that education savings account when she was little. Spearheading a campus tour. And another, and another, and another, and another. Bam! Deciphering financial aid. She was like, what? Well, now she's like, yeah! you waste planning for college. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. Hmm, maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made home ownership happen. Homeschooling yourself on loans, beefing up your credit score. So I'm pre-approved. You were like, yes! Sorry. Color coding listings, ticking boxes, and flushing every toilet in a 20-mile radius. Home sweet home. You waste house hunting. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. We believe in patriotism. We believe in our nation's youth. We believe veterans earn their benefits through their service to our nation. We believe in a strong national security. We believe in our country. For 100 years, veterans have been impacting our nation through the American Legion, and we believe it makes a difference. If you believe, learn more at legion.org slash we believe. Ready, ready! human family in their natural habitat known to their species as the backyard hey, you think i should light it now i think it's good yeah, yeah. Sure. oh dear someone is about to burn a pile of debris that's too tall which can start a wildfire wait what? could it be blimey oh, it is it's smoky it's smoky bear what a legend What's the hey it's here? smoky sorry it was too high Right. Watch as he astutely ensures that there's no wind and how he removes some of the debris to create a smaller, safer burning pile. No, you, you, see, no, you can't make it bigger, baby. The bigger, the better. Take note right. of our fearless furry friend here, yeah. humans. I appreciate it. First bump. <laughs> Watching you. Smokey's done it again. Bye, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. You think getting dumped by text is harsh? Try getting dumped by a tennis ball. My ex-owner drove me out to the woods. 
yelled fetch, and by the time I brought the ball back, he was gone. But the folks at the shelter helped me let go of my anger. I learned coping skills, like taking it to the hole. Boom! Now I'm ready to fetch again. Me and my boy Matt had it good. He had catnip that was off the hook. But one day, he brings a girl home, and she's allergic to cats. Every sneeze was a nail in my coffin. Now I'm in a shelter. It's decent, but they don't even have Wi-Fi. Dora knows better than anyone. The best place to explore is the forest. Boots! <gasps> she knows this monkey? Of course she knows this monkey. Experience nature. Let's go. Connect with family. I love you guys. And find your own adventure in a forest or park near you. Let's do this. <laughs> Come on, Boots. <laughs> Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest or park near you. Back of the St. Croix Valley Rec Center. Good period for that man, Remington Keppel, in net for Hill Murray is the Pioneers' first out on the ice. And now uh, the ponies get ready for period number two. And if there's one thing Stillwater has learned in years past from facing Remington Keppel in sections is that it's very tough to beat them. Hill Murray plays a good defensive game. And it's not going to be easy to score on them as both goaltenders, Logan Bees on the left, Remington Kempel on the right. Both have allowed no goals through one period. I mean, both both have a very high sight percentage at 91 and 93 percent. So you're going to have to work to get one in. Six shots to eight shots. You'll have to shoot a bunch more to get one past these guys. Yep. As Bees gets his crease ready for the second period. Yeah, earlier the commercial was discover the forest. <laughs> Come here and discover the ice. <laughs> All right. It's hockey season. Things are heating up. We're in late January, or late January. Yeah, it's about a month left in the regular season for the boys. And then you're going to go right into the heat of section playoffs. And, of course, there it is. This puck popped up in the air. Oh, it almost got to us. Everybody's looking to make the trip down to possibly the best state tournament in all of high school sports in America. And that's the Minnesota State Hockey Tournament in St. Paul at the XL Energy Center. Well, I know I'm excited to see some of that action this year. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, pretty exciting so far. And I mean, Stillwater has teams that can, on both yep. sides, that can play well. Boys and girls could be there. Here's Eichen. He brings it out. Hill Murray gains his own with Pelotacek. Pelotacek dumps it in. The ponies win the battle, and they'll carry out. Here comes Ty Tocito. The first time he's touched the puck tonight. Here comes the freshman. Mm. Laid it back. Strobel picks it up. Mm. Strobel working to get around. The pony defender, Evan Murr. Little, oh, extra contact. There's a shot, and it's just shoveled to the corner. Strobel down there with Mike Sweetland. Ring it around the boards. Ronnie Donar over there. Quas took a shot before he took a shot. Big hit. A lot of hit going on here early in this period. I think that's going to intensify as this game goes on. Eichen goes high. Shot. Yeah. Easy play by Cooper Wiley, but he couldn't hold on to it. Pierre, centering pass, good job getting down to prevent that from getting across. And Tocito clears it back the other way, right towards Keppel. You can see how that guy can have 23 assists. Yep. Stole the puck, immediately looked, almost tried to find a teammate. If that gets through, might be too quick for bees. you just don't know. 12 goals, 23 assists, 35 points for Nick Pierre. And Already in he's in 17 games. Yeah, so committed about to a game. Play you for know, the Badgers. No big deal. Face off is controlled by the Pioneers. They're looking to lift out. Benson at center. Here comes a two on two back the other way. Looking to get around. Good deep. Good stay on his feet though. Comes up to center. It's cut off there by Axel Begley. And it goes down to the other end of the rink. 
Who's going to break through? Well, that's the big question. Who's going to get the break? Could easily be a turnover, that's yeah. for sure. We've seen a couple of those happen so far in this game. They haven't turned out, obviously, to anything. Penalties at a premium here tonight as well. We saw that in our first game of our doubleheader, and then they came on late in the game. Yes, they did. Roski will just dump it in deep. Keppel out of his net to play it. Working hard down there. Pioneers trying to set up an attack. Feeds it ahead to Godbaum. Here's Nick Pierre. Offensive zone, centering pass. Mm. Pierre again. Looking for the center. Good job to get free. Up to the point. Work it over. Here's Begley. Begley shot on net. Bees oh, it's a save and a score. Lawrence took that juicy rebound and put the biscuit in the basket. Jared Jensen for Hill Murray. Oh, shoot. Had the sheet flip on, sorry. <laughs> that was Jensen. Jensen's fifth of the year. And the Pioneer is up 1 0. I think with so many assists on that team that those guys are looking for that. Yeah. And clearly they know how to score. Puck just dumped in deep. And it's cleared back out. And you know. Definitely not the prettiest of goals, but it got through, and it might be enough to give Hill Murray the momentum going forward, but still are looking to take it back. Ponies flip it back up to center. Noah Tussie giving chase. Can't win the battle. Good play by Axel Begley to keep it away from Tussie. Cooper Wiley works it back up towards Keppel. And so, Hill Murray's continue to take that shot advantage. He keep dialing it up a little bit. It was six to eight, now it's six to 10. That they're taking the advantage and now they're on the scoreboard. Shot by Tommy Lindenberg, easily corralled by Keppel. Hill Murray will look to set something up, a little bit of pressure from O'Brien. Keegan O'Brien there working hard. Nice hustle, puck cut off. Here's Sweetland. Mike Sweetland a shot. And a great glove save by Remington Keppel. Not sure you're going to beat a great goaltender like that with a straight shot, no. but he saw an opportunity there. With a great goaltender, you got to get him moving. Mm -hmm. I like the idea, though. You know, he was kind of watching. He was bird dogging, if you call it that. Yep. Up at the corner, watching until that long pass comes. He snags it, gets a shot. Gets the puck, which was important. Face off controlled, and it's shot back down the other way. I see Stillwater will get the offensive zone face off. I mean, if you're looking to facilitate for each other, I think that just helps your team get movement, and it just inspires everybody. So I like to see, I like to see that unselfishness on the ice. Pioneers control it. Ponies trying to get it back in the zone. Sweetland in the corner for Stillwater. Shot back out to center. Works it ahead to Sweetland. Turnover taken here by Jensen. Feeds it back. Shot blocked in front. And it's walked back to the corner. Man, I love those mics. Pick up such great sound. Up to the top. Wrist shot on net. B saw the entire way. On the shot from Luke House. I mean, it certainly worked. House was able to call yep. for the puck to get it, but I think everybody in the arena knew where it was going and they were ready. Now, right now for Stillwater, it's... 
Just not allowing the two-goal lead. Correct. See if they can respond in the right way. Though, to be fair, that didn't stop the girls. Here's Lawrence. Fed ahead. Chase for the puck. Joe Manning can't beat out the Hill Murray attacker. Here comes Strobel back the other way. Charlie Strobel popped up into the air over the net. Nice patience. He didn't crash the ice, but he kind of waited, started looking to see if he had a teammate coming or if he saw an opportunity to shoot. Strobel on the far side, looking to get it to the center. That pass was so sneaky, it got by everybody. Big hit in the corner. Eisen takes him down. And the Pawnees regain possession. And an offside. And Hill Murray has dominated the play after that goal scored. A 1-0 advantage for the Pioneers. Yeah, Stillwater's just going to have to string it together. Yep. Keep it calm. I do like the patience that I see by Hill Murray when they're crashing. You can see him kind of look for space to work in. Stillwater's going to need to do the same thing. Don't run into the black and red tornado, or green and black tornado. But I say red. <laughs> Off the draw, Stengel is shot. Easy save. This rivalry, you know, obviously the green and black, shades of the University of North Dakota, obviously Stillwater sporting the red and black, reminds me of a familiar college hockey rivalry that I was a part of in college. Uh, St. Cloud State obviously sported the red and black. <clears throat> the red and black, they had some success, but obviously North Dakota was a stronger program tradition-wise. And as time went on, St. Cloud State had a couple of great years, which they knocked off UND, won some NCHC championships, NCAA tournament berths, and they have a similar structure between these two. Stillwater has beat them a couple of times, but Hill Murray might hold the edge all time, but Stillwater looking to beat them a couple of more times. And this might be the year that a red and white banner go up, goes up in the into the rafters here. And that puck tried to be cleared in. Nick Mountain down there, Joe Stingle. Tocito feeds it off to Tussie. Here's Nova Tussie. Tussie across the line, he gets free. Tussie wrap around. He scores! Noah Tussie! Is the goaltender. Another look. Let's see if we can see where it went in. He snuck it right between the skate and the post. And the ponies get on the board. <laughs> Noah Tussie, 19 points on the season after that goal. That is tucked in. Let's see if Stillwater can retake command of this game. I miss Shaq this Keppel that went in, but that's why you try him. Because yep. you can sometimes with your speed get that to work. Feeds it off. There's a slapper on net. Went past Keppel. High and wide. And slapped in. 1-1 one, one game here midway through the second period. Right into the middle of the rink to Godbout. Hill Murray across the zone. Gunnar Ahrens defending for the Ponies. And House a whistle. Was, House was trying to let them know, I'm behind you, pass it back. But uh, there was no puck delivery. He if wanted I'm to take not, a shot. If I'm not mistaken, we haven't had a penalty this game either. No, I don't think this so either. This has been a clean game. Certainly a lot of activity, yep. a lot of oh, hitting, yeah. but no, nothing too cheap or I haven't seen any tripping or anything like that or interference. Face off controlled by Stillwater as the Ponies look to carry out. 
Here comes Ruski, trying to feed it ahead in the direction of Henry Lawrence. Ringing around the boards. Pioneers. Good job keeping that puck in. Yeah, that ref wanted to get back into the game. Here comes Strobel across the line. Mm. I think that's going to be interference. And we might have our first penalty of the game away from the puck contact or offside. Yeah, it's going to be offside. There was a little bit of contact away from in front of the puck. Watch to see if Strobel yeah. and Dario get mixed up. They were giving each other a stare down as they were skating in front of their benches. There we go, 6 and 35, yep. whapping at each other. Tied to Cito and Henry Aishin. Someone's going someone's gonna to get a penalty real soon. And the other end, Tussie wins the battle, at least momentarily. Loose puck in front, turns, fires, and a save. Chance for the Ponies, they'll take the lead. And Charlie Strobel back the other way. Strobel had it poked away. Mm. Comes out, big hit in the corner. Don't get distracted by a hit in the corner. The puck is still running around. Here's Tocito. And it's flipped back the other way. A lot of energy in the building. Both fan bases know what could possibly be at stake in terms of section seating. In the slot. Knocked away. Eichen had a shot at it for Hill Murray. Here comes Mike Sweetland back the other way. Sweetland working around. Sweetland and Fleischhacker in the corner. And right now it's a Vin Scully moment. We have 11 shots on goal <laughs> on both sides, and it's one to one. 11s, yep. ones all around. Big hit. Brings the Stillwater fans to their feet. Ring it around. And it's worked back the other way. You can see Stillwater taking a little bit of momentum and a little bit of energy after that goal. Yeah, and a lot of good neck exercise as we look left, then right, yep. then left, <laughs> then right. We are going up and down the ice with speed. And Bo Dustin back in his own zone. Feeds it off. And there's a, I think every single hit has an extra little something on yep. it. Comes back out to center ice. Center field, the way number 20 caught that. Yep, here's Dustin. Feeds it off. Trying to get it ahead to Keegan O'Brien and an icing call. Yeah, he just missed it. Yep. But the way these guys are playing so tight, you might have to complete that long pass to break an opportunity. After all, that's what got Tussie on the board, is he just got away with it, slid himself down the ice, went behind the net. Tucked it in behind the goalie. This is going to be a fun final 7.32 of the second period to see who can take the momentum going into the third period. I expect it to dial up in the third, too. Roski feeds it off. Three ponies hitting the line. Nice D. In behind the net. Ponies take it. Feed it up to the point. There's a wrist shot on that. It goes wide. It's a Ooh. nice shot, but I wanted him to swing it to the other side. Here's Wiley in the corner. Under seven minutes left, second period. Big drive on net, and Keppel makes the save. You're going to have to trick him if you're going to get by him. <laughs> I mean, he was shocked that that took tuck wraparound worked yeah you're probably not going to beat him with a straight on shot even though it did opportunely pop out yeah. you can shoot it on the net but you're not going to catch too many goalies sleeping on that kind of shot The face-off controlled here by Paloma Chuck and Hill Murray. Back up to center. Cam Benson. Feeds it off of the blue line to Tussie. Here's Tocito, top line on the ice here for Stillwater. Tocito dumps it in. Joe Stengel picks it up. 
Stengel, center, Tussie, oh, scores! Yes. Ponies lead 2-1 to one out of beauty! That's the kind of puck movement we've been waiting to see. Stengel wins the battle, the Tussie going top till where Mama hides the lead and the Ponies grab it from set self. With 6.22 left in the second. You said you gotta have the goalie moving, and that's exactly what was happening there. Keppel sliding from left to right as we're looking at him. And then you tuck it on the left right where he used to be. Two consecutive goals for Noah Tussie. Stillwater with all the momentum right now. And a whistle. And it's going to be slashing penalty on the ponies. Mmm, juicy. My sweet one will go to the box. That's probably exactly what Hur Hill Murray would like to have. You give up the lead. Then you're down, and then you get a nice penalty. Six minutes left in the period. Just about right. Stillwater is 89% on the penalty kill this season. Hill Murray, 32% on the power play, and a quick clear for the Ponies. Let's see if the Pioneers can tie this one up. Nick here quickly to the other end. Here comes Wiley. Two on one. Wiley. Penalty upcoming. Let's look at that replay. There's Joe Palotichuk. And he'll go to the box. And that'll even things up four on four. I know you're protecting your goalie, but there's no way that's not called. I don't, you know, I don't understand. I don't understand doing that. One more look. Yeah, he's going high on that one. It's completely beat. Uh -huh. and just really, there's no. In that situation, he's just trying to do something to prevent the goal. But now you go four on four and the advantage and momentum goes back in favor of the Ponies. Here's Wiley, looking to get back on the board. Loose mm. puck in front of the net. Charlie Strobel comes away with it. Here's Strobel down the rink. He can score. Good defense by Murr. Murr at center ice. And the puck just dumped in deep. A minute left of four on four. And then we'll have about 25 seconds of a power play for the Ponies. Here comes Wiley across the line. Cooper looking to take it to the house. Wiley wrap around again. He went to pass it back, but in the, the corner, defense was ready. Over to Wiley up the circle. Up top, Murr on net. Rebound chance. Trying to whack it home a couple of times. Mm. Keppel kept it out. Here's Tussie. Tussie, wrist shot on net. Rebound. No callings on the doorstep. No hat trick. 25 seconds left. A four on four. And then we'll go to five on four in favor of Stillwater for a little bit. Lost the puck. Henry Aishin put on pressure. Aishin got it. Taken away by Rusky. Ooh. There's another hit. You know, shame on Aishin for that one. He actually tried to rub it in the face of Benson and then lost his own balance. Dumped in. 15 seconds of five on four left for the Ponies. Here comes Godbout back the other way. Intercepted. Here comes Manning. Pass in the middle to Keegan O'Brien. Center. Nobody home. 
And we're back to full strength for Hill Murray. A lot of shoulders being thrown right now. Yep. Dumped in. I just don't understand the cheap shot when you let, there's so many chances to Turnover. whap at somebody. Shot and Bees makes the save. A late hit. I'd be surprised as we take another look at that. How much more hits after the whistle, contact like that is it gonna take for these officials? to try to calm things down with a penalty. I mean, at some point, you're just daring them to call yeah. one on you, and I don't understand that. There's plenty of chances to hit somebody. You don't have to do it after the whistle. Stengel taken out of the box, or out of the circle, Nick Dario. And the ponies win the draw. Here's Murr up the center, lost it, looking to get it back. Pioneers gain the zone, three minutes to play. There's a shot, kick mm. save, rebound chance for the Pioneers. That was exactly what the Pioneers yep. wanted. Nice shot and rebound. Comes out to center, trying to dump it in. Picked up by Met Zupfer here of Hill Murray. Hitting going on in the corner, Ooh. a lot of bodies hitting the rink. Up ice, here's Henry Lawrence at center, dumps it in, picked up by Dario, nice spin center, move. Lawrence went under the stick of Evan Murr. In behind the cage. Pioneers advance it, intercepted by Murr. Murr, there's a shot. There were three Hill Murray defenders back there to knock it off course. And it's shot back down, Tussie in the Stillwater zone. Hill Murray in the midst of a change. Mm. Buck stays in play, went off the stick of Benson to the corner. Tight to Cito, putting a lot of pressure on Matthew Fleischhacker. Here's to Cito, mm. Buck in the slot. Who's gonna gain possession? Tussie looking for that hat trick. Up to Joe Manning. Manning in the corner. Center in front. Bill Murray was able to defend it. Here comes Pierre. Solid D there to back check that out of there. In the zone. Picked up here by Godbout. Works it forward. Minute 15 to play here in the second period. Ponies have scored two in a row from the stick of Noah Tussie. Battling for it in the corner. Last minute of play. Under a minute to go. One minute. Here comes Ryan Rusky. He just dumps it in. Ponies will change. Two ponies stay on the ice. Ooh. A loose puck right in the slot area. Had a few of those bouncing pucks that can go any which way. Yeah. Big open ice hit. Dumped in by House. Final 30 seconds of the second period. He feeds it off. Ponies gain the line. It's just dumped in by O'Brien. He took a hit and he's down. Looking for a penalty, but it's not yeah. being called. No, he'll get up. Just had the wind knocked out of him temporarily. I think he went, oh wait, the referees are giving it a discussion. And the official's gonna skate over to the scorer's area, and they are gonna call a penalty against the Pioneers. Captain Henry Eichen having the discussion with the officials as Owen Quast will go to the sin bin with 20 seconds left in the second period. So O'Brien took that shot and was able to lobby. One of the referees must have seen it and let the other two know what happened. We have one of them, we have one of the 
umpires over at the bench explaining to the coaches what he saw. Intercepted, here come the Pioneers, three and two. Back the other way, shot, blocker saved by Bees. Popped up in the air, five seconds left in the period. Worked back out to center. And that'll end the second. The Ponies take a two to one lead. No. And some extra pushing and shoving after the buzzer. It is going to be a hot and heavy third period <laughs> coming up. Stay tuned. There Here might be a fight. Back TV. <laughs> look under your bed find stuff under there what about jobs no now try your closet still no jobs just more stuff well you really have both see stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group sometimes this stuff is no longer needed wait no longer needed I can't be right because remember those jobs you were looking for those are really needed and they're the stuff inside your stuff our job is to unlock those jobs, and it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Fancy Pants Peanut Butter? A big screen television? You haven't even bought a sofa yet. A motorcycle? When your father finds out, he's gonna flip his shoes with two buckles? What do you even need two buckles for? Mr. Big Shot, buying whiskey shots for everybody in the bar. From the looks of it, I'd say nobody even remembers. Feed the pig. just an unbelievable experience and advantage that we're giving to kids. We've reached the end of two. Stillwater leads 2-1 over Hill Murray. Ted Lou alongside John Heckerman. 
Here on Back TV, and a great second period, of course, for Stillwater, Noah Tussie. They put it together, looked pretty good. A couple of great goals. Obviously, the wraparound and then the nice assist. So, leading two to one, action packed second period. Third period should be good. What's the message from head coach Greg Zanin? to kind of keep this lead right now. I mean, for sure avoid those penalties, but you saw in the second period that Stillwater went from being a deficit on shots on goal to now they're leading 16-14. Yeah. That shows you how they've turned the game around along with right. the score and the scoreboard. So just don't relinquish that. Don't have any stupid penalties and yeah. be very careful about turnovers because, you know, Hilmer is just waiting for a chance to get into this game. Don't give it to him. I think the thing right now is the composure. You kind of saw it a little bit after the second period buzzer you're seeing it after a lot of these plays there's a lot of chippiness going on between each team and we said it during the second period how long are the officials going to allow this uh, to take place so i think another message is you got to keep your composure during those times yeah and i think you can bait hill murray into a penalty yeah. i mean at the end yeah. of the period i saw t number 35 <laughs> go like this you know yeah. come on right. you know it's yeah. like it's like they're ready they're yep. they're more they're less angry stillwater is yeah. with the lead so just make sure you keep that composure like you said and uh ride this game out and this has been a great night of hockey of course the first game of our double header Stillwater girls hockey came all the way back from down two with just two minutes to play. For that was overtime. unbelievable. If you guys missed that, <laughs> hit YouTube later <laughs> yep. after they posted it. Yep. You need to watch the last part of that game. That game was really a tale of two different yep. games. I mean, it was unbelievable and well worth seeing. Exactly. And you know, the girls continue their momentum, but obviously Woodbury, a team to watch out for uh, come playoff time no matter who they play and obviously this game has a lot at stake in terms of section seating as well the winner will likely hold the number two spot and if Stillwater can win tonight and then possibly beat White Bear Lake coming up in a couple of weeks in the first week of February that we're going to have for you yes. here on VAG TV that could give them possibly enough of a boost to convince the coaches vote that they could be the number one seed in that section now remember the last time Stillwater played White Bear Lake about a week or so ago. They were up three to one with one minute left, and uh, overtime uh, happened in that one. And yes. White Bear Lake came out on top in a miraculous game um, there. So you got to think if Stillwater can win tonight, beat White Bear Lake, they might be in position to have the number one seed. I mean, even not getting the seeding, you want to build your team yep. for that run. And you start putting the pieces together, and you can have that run at the end of the year, which is exactly what you want. Exactly. And we'll see if Stillwater can finish the job. A 2-1 to lead here over Hill Murray. It's Stillwater Boys Hockey here on VAC TV. This is not the last broadcast of our week. Coming up Thursday, live on VAC TV, 6 o'clock. Boys swimming and diving, taking on Eastridge. Uh, over there, so make sure you tune in for some swimming and diving. That's the unfrozen action. ice. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, so we're going to be at Stillwater Middle School for that meet, and then next Tuesday, come on back here. It's the battle for the Rex. Stillwater and Matamidai uh, do battle here on the boys hockey rink. Of course, section playoffs upcoming in a couple of weeks for Stillwater girls hockey, so stay tuned to our social media for coverage of those playoffs it's the regular seasons are winding down playoffs are right around the corner so you can tell by the urgency in this game that both teams uh, are looking to solidify themselves as contenders in the section i truly expect a violent third period <laughs> i mean they are getting yeah. so close to it and right. we are yeah. probably going to see some penalties be called because yeah. the referees are going to have to step in at this point yeah. both teams are kind of saying how much can we get away with how much violence can we <laughs> Put upon the other team without getting called, and yeah. uh, it's getting real close to uh, that boiling over point. We're going to find out right after this on Team. I took this over in 1974, 19 years old, and started to develop the restaurant as a Big Ben restaurant here. I liked it so much that I decided I wanted to put my own stamp on it. So what I did was I bought everybody out and put my own name up in lights. That 45 years means a lot to us. That's huge. We're trying to stay current with what's available now. We gutted everything out. We changed all of it. We changed the floors to hardwood floors. We changed the ceilings, different elevations. We've added uh, a lot of wood. 
to it. And when I was 19 years old, I never thought about having a bar. Now I have a bar. It blows them away when they walk in the door. Everybody says, wow, this is different. This is nice. We want to reciprocate. We want to say, hey, thanks for eating here. Thanks for supporting us. We're supporting you. So if the hospital does an event, we want to be part of it. If the chamber does an event, we want to be part of it. If the schools do an event, we want to be part of it. We want to help with that because of our success, because of you. Let me tell you about the toughest guy on earth. He does the work of two jobs, but only gets paid for one. He's tough enough to feed the man who gave him a lifetime of nourishment. <clears throat> he has the crazy strength to lift the man that raised him up without even flinching. That's right. No employee of the month bonus check here. This guy, no, this warrior, will always be by his father's side, even if his dad will hardly remember. Good luck finding a gym to train for that. If this guy isn't the toughest guy on the planet, then I don't know who is. Caregiving is tougher than tough. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. Dennis McDonough. Two more times. Come on. He's going to collect in some kind of a basin up here. It is just an unbelievable experience and advantage that we're giving to kids. Third period upcoming, head coach Greg Zanin on the right for Stillwater, head coach Bill Lechner for Hill Murray on the left as both coaches looking to will their teams to a victory here this evening as we are underway and skating in the third period of hockey. Ponies, pioneers, and pummeling, that's what I expect in this third period. <laughs> 
at the circle. Remember, Pony's on the power play here to start the period. There's a shot on it. Rebound chance right in front. You saw Pelota try to dive to keep that potential shot out. Here's Stengel. Stengel cross ice pass. Deflects right in front. Right off a boot, nearly went into the net. Almost an own goal, as they say in soccer. Cooper Wiley, a shot and a save by Keppel. 101 left on the power play for Stillwater. Good power play opportunity there. Yep. And what an advantage that would be if Stillwater can get a goal here on this power play. Take a two goal lead of that one shot up into the Hill Murray side of the stands. That one really went into the stands. Yep. Looks like the kid might keep that puck. The youngster got that one after it went up into like the fifth or sixth row. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Neutral zone face off. 57 seconds left of power play hockey here for Stillwater. And I rated the ref saying calm down to yep. the two guys behind the face off. And again, the wingers getting a little too close there. They are. There's that one shot into the bench. Gonna be chippy. <laughs> yeah, you think, uh, officials, you think you have to calm things down now with 16 14 left in the third. Yes. Imagine when you get down to five minutes, four minutes, and it's a one goal game still at that point. It's gonna get frantic in here, I'm pretty sure. Pioneers have it on their own end. They shoot it. Oh, Evan Murr tried to stop it. And he just comes back to his own end and gets it. Ronnie's a one-goal lead, 35 seconds left on the man advantage. Feeds it off, and here's Joe Manning across the line. Manning gets free, Manning the shot nice. went wide. Roski down there. Good patience to kind of weave and find his spot. In the corner, Roski centering pass. Great chance for Ronnie Donar. Great Pop. back check by Strobel. Here comes Charlie Strobel, speak of the devil. Strobel centering pass, great job getting down. Here comes Stillwater, three on two back the other way. Sweetland shot, blocked in front, he gets it back. Pony's in behind, we're back to full strength hockey. Good discipline by Hill Murray to, to prevent those shots on goal. Sweetland the shot, nice save by Keppel. Centering pass in front. Mm. Another good chance. But here come the Pioneers, back the other way with Strobel. Charlie Strobel, centering pass, doesn't get through. In front, here's Quast. And on the far side for the Pioneers, up top. Shot, and the save by Bees. I don't know, I gotta say, I expected a little bit more passing because of so many assists that Hill Murray have had, but they're just not seeing him right now. I don't know if they feel like each guy has to make that difference, but they are going to try to tie this game up. Ball on a chuck, pass, shot, score! Beautiful pass and a beautiful finish. Dylan got about his seventh of the year. That's exactly what I was talking about. Right off the draw, great pass to God Bout and he finishes up top. You can't shoot at B straight, you gotta get him moving. He's too good for you just to shoot at straight and now it is tied. How many overtimes can we have in a day? <laughs> well, two since there's two games. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I had to, I, I had know. to. <laughs> I set you up. And they don't go to double overtime or anything like that. They, well, here we go. Here's a shot. That one went high and wide, and that had some smoke on it. Fleischacker, big hit in the corner. Well, 2-2. We'll see if Hill Murray can take the advantage back or if Stillwater can respond. Lays it forward. Buck in the pony zone. Tussie trying to get it. Up at center, Cooper Wiley. Wiley plays it ahead. A lot of green and black sweaters in the area. Yeah, if there's a guy within five feet of you, good luck getting far. Here's Pelotachuk. Pelotachuk at the circle. There's a shot saved by Bees. Got to watch the wraparound. He gets mm -hmm. across. Up top. D to D pass. 
Wrist shot on net, went wide on the shot from Max Zupfer. Stillwater will carry out a two on three. Here's Keegan O'Brien, O'Brien on net, and it's frozen by Keppel. He tried to duck under that chop maneuver. Yep. Maybe get a penalty, maybe get a shot on goal. Stillwater plus one shots on goal right now, 18-17. Yep. Two goals apiece. It's been pretty even. Both of these teams very evenly matched. Stillwater fell in the regular season meet regular season meeting between these two teams and the postseason meeting between these two teams last season. Wow. And another goal! He basically went water bottle shopping there. Tickled the, tickled the twine, made that water bottle, Gatorade bottle, jump into the sky. Hunter Lassiter puts the Pioneers up three to two. It's his fourth goal of the season. Mm. And For Mama Keeps the Cookies, right? Yeah, exactly. Top shelf. <laughs> and this game has quickly turned over in favor of the Pioneers. Man, that was a beautiful shot. Hill Murray again on the attack up top. There's a shot. Redirect in front. Knocked aside. We're going to get it in deep. Icing down there. A lot of hitting going on down there. Pierre trying to sneak in and pick it up. Bonnie's trying to get it out. In the slot, Pierre turns and fires. Mm. Went high. Bonnie's pick up the puck. And that shot was so far up goal, the referee ducked. Dump back in. Linesman, sorry. Rusty trying to work it ahead towards center. It's picked up by the Pioneers. Worked in, mm. goes down. Picked up by the Ponies. Trying to get back on the board. Stillwater trailing 3-2. to two. Across the line. Shot blocked in front. Nick Mountain a shot. And it's blocked again by the Pony defense. Yeah, these guys are too good to uh, allow a direct shot on their goalie. Here's Fleischhacker. Over to Mountain. Casito turns. Fires and a save. And they'll come back up to the neutral zone to reset things. Throws it in. Picked up by Tussie. Tussie looking for his third. Moving quickly. Noah Tussie. Still got it. Tussie. Center across. It was behind Stengel. There's the shot. Stengel will pick it up in the corner. Fleischhacker down there for the Pioneers. Pilata Chuck carries it out. Intercepted, looking for Mountain. Ponies pick it up, tied to Cito, the freshman. Freshman looking to get around. Fancy stick work. Ooh. Nice poke by Remington Keppel. Took a shot to the face. Didn't like it. Puck comes up to the neutral zone. Ponies pick it up, will gain the line. There's a shot. Nice, easy save. After the shot from Tommy Lindenberg. Fleischhacker left his stick on the ice, just walked away. 11-0-1 remaining. Hill Murray with two goals this period has taken the lead. A face-off controlled by the Pioneers. They have it back. In their own end. Both players hit the ants. There's a wrist shot on net. And Remington Keppel is so great at one and done. He doesn't allow a lot of rebound chances. And that's why his numbers are the way they are. Yeah, good job by Murr just to kind of sift his way and try to find a spot. But yep. I think he's really got to wait for one of his teammates to get through there to, for a redirect or something. Because, like you said, a straight shot, probably not getting by. Face-off is controlled. 
by the Pioneers. Pony's looking to regain possession, pushed out to center. Here's come Pierre. Pierre, a shot blocker save. And into the netting by Beans. Yeah, he was looking to pick something up on the left side, but he said no. Kind of shading him that way anyway. I yep. almost wonder if he, that's his tendency. Bees knew it. This game is, they say it in basketball, it's been a game of runs. Two goals here, two goals there. Stillwater scored two, and now Hill Murray has come back and scored two. And they've all been earned. Up top. No fluky goals or anything. They've all been hard worked, hard worked goals. Regardless of what happens here tonight, it is extremely likely that these two teams will be the two and three seed. Even though we talked about possibly if Stillwater wins here tonight and beats White Bear Lake, they could work their way to the one. But there's a save by Bees. In all likelihood, these will be the two and the three. So with a win in the quarterfinals, these two teams would match up again in the semifinals. So likely that this is not the last you'll see of these two teams meeting. That looks like a fun game to watch. <laughs> now and next time. Yep. Face-off controlled by the Pioneers. Hill Murray will just paddle in in deep. Strobel down there for the Pioneers. Ponies will look to carry. Mm -hmm. Looks like a nice rush. Stengel dumps it in. Stengel and Tocito for checking. Back there, picked up by Aishin. Here's Tussie. Nice steal. Feeds it off. Tocito was there. He couldn't quite turn around in time. Here comes Aishin. Aishin, great speed. Getting around the defender. Takes him down to the rink. Strobel in behind the net. Hill Murray looking to expand their lead to two. Taken by Stengel. Here come the Ponies under 10 minutes to go. One on three, and it's just dumped back in the other Ooh. way. Here's Fleischhacker. Hipped into the boards by Sweetland. The boards are getting a workout. Worked over. Two on one for the Ponies, and there's the penalty. <laughs> That is exactly what Stillwater needs right now. Would have had a two-on-one. And the Ponies will take the advantage after the penalty from Joe Pelotichuk. Right here, Pelotichuk gets worked over and they're in right away. Takes up Keegan O'Brien. And the Ponies. Two minutes on the power play clock. Great chance right now as the Hill Murray fans look on from the far side of the rink. Yep, looks like it's Jersey night over there. Face off, fans clear back the other way. A lot of check, tripping is called officially. Here comes Manning across the line. Joe Manning. Ooh, nice move. Great move. Gets a big reaction. Up top to Murr. Murr, a wrist shot on net. Knocked down. Manning a big drive. Right on the doorstep. Centering pass went right across the blue paint. Geek to get free. Feeds it off on the power play. Back up to a point. Wrist shot on net went wide. Comes out to Sweetland. Nice left to right puck movement with opportunities for Stillwater. Up to the point. Back to Mike. They keep it in the zone. And it's cleared out. One minute remaining on the power play for the Ponies and a long pass. Remington Keppel got the icing call. 58 seconds left on the power play for Stillwater and the faceoff will go down to the Pony Zone. Number nine couldn't collect that pass, but if he could have, he was ready to slide in. A lot of close chances. Face-off control by the Ponies. And as they're looking to push out. Across the line, dumps it in. 
Fleischhacker down there. 45 seconds left in the power play. Aisha in a nice hit. Stillwater looking to get, get it deep, but they got to come back out to center. Here's Stengel, everybody on side. Joe Stengel across the line. Stengel took a bad hop. Good hop if you're Stillwater. Oh, Taken it away. Here comes Aishin at the other end. Henry Aishin worked over by Wiley. Aishin pops back up. And it's cleared back down to the other end. 15 seconds left on the power play. This one likely to be Ooh. killed. Shot into the bench. And we'll see where they position the faceoff. And it's going to come back to neutral life. I think that hit Erickson on its way out. He's got a helmet on, so he's fine. Dussie controls the faceoff. Ten seconds left on the power play. They shoot it in deep. Dussie can't quite cut it off. We play on. Pilata Chuck comes out of the box. That's a pretty good penalty kill. Yep. Well, we're down to seven minutes left in the third. That was a prime opportunity for Stillwater to get a goal, but it goes by the wayside. In front, here comes Manning. Joe Manning will push out. Two on three back the other way. Hill Murray wins that battle. Strobel will bring it up. Across the line. Strobel a shot. Goes wide. Now the ponies will push out with Dario. Dario. Or no, that's Dario a shot. In front. Stick to side. What a save. Backhand Ooh. chance. And another save by Keppel. Kept in. Off to Benson. Cam Benson glides to the corner. Now there's Dario. In behind. I don't know how Keppel kept an eye on that puck. I guess he's good. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Strobel across the line. Charlie Strobel poked away. Under six minutes to go. A dangerous play in front of the net. Bees made the save. He's got to freeze this one. Great job by the Stillwater defense to collect that before as Bees couldn't quite get to it. Bees shaking his head a little bit on yeah. that one. Nick Mountain with a point blank opportunity for the Pioneers. Couldn't finish. A Hill Murray goal right now. Would almost put this one away. Murr in the corner, pressured by Mountain. In behind, looking to wrap around, he scores! He got it in there, wow. We've seen two wraparounds tonight. Both at that end of the ice. Second goal of the game for Dylan Godbout with 5.32 remaining. Right in front, you saw. Wow. Remember at that end earlier in the game, Noah Tussie did the exact same thing. Right between the skate and the post. And the Pioneers take a 4-2 advantage. It's been back and forth, too. Three consecutive goals for Hill Murray. And now it's Aishin. It's Tecito, leaves it off for Tussie. And Stillwater, of course, not out of this one yet, but you got to think a goal quickly needs to come. Back out to center. Picked up two on one. Nice Centering pass. pass. Scores again! That was a beautiful maneuver. He actually got these to go left so that he could go right. And he said, I just slit their throats. Charlie Strobel celebrates with the Pioneer faithful. And Hill Murray extends their lead to three. Great stick handling by Strobel to remain in control. And that is going to send some of the Stillwater fans home. And some of the fans 
I mean, we know Strobel can score, and that's why how you can see that. He basically gets one goal a game. Yep. Charlie Strobel, his 16th goal of the season. Number 27, Charlie Strobel, with the assist at number 22, under passing. Comes back down to the corner of the flight hacker. The real credit goes to number 22, gave that beautiful assist. Yep. That made St gave Strobel that opportunity, and the defense was chasing a great pass, turned into a goal that, like Strobel said, iced the game. Player a little bit shaken up there on the far side. That's Owen Quast, who's able to get that He'll head to the bench. Took a big hit there. Face-off controlled by Hill Murray. Here goes Balata Chuck back the other way, and he'll just dump it in with Bees. will control it. And Hill Murray not in any way slowing down. Turnover. Going to shoot it out, and the momentum was definitely in favor of Stillwater. Yes. Two to one, and they look to be in control. Going into the third period up two to one, they got the man advantage right away, had a couple of decent opportunities to go ahead three to one, but it goes by the wayside. It seems like after right after that penalty kill, the momentum went right in the favor of the green and black. I think that, that the key was that bottle popper. Yep. That was a beautiful shot, and it's hard to outwork a shot like that. Yep. I mean, it does sap some of your energy. O'Brien works it ahead. Oop. Ronnie Donar. Donar feeds it off Sweetland. Oh. Backhand shot goes wide. Hilmer is not letting them get any good passing lanes. Yep. They've got guys set up in position too. They just can't get the puck to them. Yeah, the ponies have it in their own end. They had a great night of hockey, of course. Stillwater girls Ooh. coming away with a victory in game one. Here's Tocito and others. Battling down there. Here comes Nick Pierre back the other way for the Pioneers. He's fast. Pierre. Right, it's great to see players. I mean, Noah Tussie committed to Minnesota. Uh, of course, Nick Pierre committed to Wisconsin as that one goes into the netting. Last year, we saw Brett Overlay. Uh, Hill Murray who's now playing juniors. He's committed to Minnesota Duluth. You see, that's what's special about hockey. In the state of Minnesota, you know you're going to see players that are going to play at a high level at the college game, possibly go on to play in the National Hockey League. You look at the marksmanship and just the intensity of these guys, you can yep. just see the talent. Across the line, Ponies gain it, but it's quickly turned over, Strobel feeds it ahead to Pierre. And in net, Keppel and Bees have had great games, yep. even though there are seven goals here. None of those goals were, you know, a lapse by any yeah. means. Turnover, that one went off the pipe on a shot from Nick Pierre, popped up into the air, we play on. That's Eichen in the corner. Couple of pony defenders pin him along the wall as we approach two minutes left in the third. Nick Pierre getting a little extra contact after his uh, shot on goal. He was hanging out in front of the goalie's net and the Stillwater Ponies asked him to please back up. <laughs> Ask nicely and it might happen. I didn't say nicely <laughs> that time. <laughs> D to D pass. Shot in it high and wide. Minute 45 to go. Tony's bringing it up with Stengel. Stengel shot a net and Keppel makes the save. Well, you oh. just see just how important a good goaltender is. Keppel, a great goaltender. He's made a couple of great saves, bouncing, stick save, pad saves, and see to the last couple of years in the section tournament, he's going to be able to keep you in games. You watch 
college hockey, the NHL every year. If you have a great goaltender, yes. he can carry you uh, throughout playoff games. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a big L.A. Kings fan. Quick yep. had a great year. Yep. Suddenly an eight seed goes all the way to win the Stanley Cup. Unbelievable things can happen if you get a hot goalie. Yep. I mean, I, I see that talent in Bees as well. I, I think the five goals he gave up, none of those are like, you know, soft goals. Yep. Hill Murray's a great offensive team. This is going to be a fun final month of the regular season. Here's Dario. Feeds it forward. Battling in behind the net. Dario fighting with Palatica. Two Tell on two down there in the corner. Give the Pioneers some credit. They are not relenting. Woo! I just <laughs> think he was trying to give you a puck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Shot over the glass. 59 seconds to go. Couple rows in front of us. So as we said, these two teams could very well meet in the section playoffs. Remember, in terms of White Bear Lake, Hill Murray lost to White Bear Lake earlier this season. Now Hill Murray has the head-to-head -head victory over the Ponies. The Ponies lost to White Bear Lake on the road earlier this season. They will host White Bear Lake in a couple of weeks. So as it pans out currently, you got to think White Bear's the one, Hill Murray the two, and Stillwater would check in with the three seed. And as this puck worked up to the top, shot in deep. Obviously, those seedings can change as time goes on. Stillwater could get big wins. You know, they got Matamidi on the schedule, St. Thomas Academy on the schedule. You get some quality wins here coming up. There's a shot, went wide. And comes up towards the point. And it's worked back. Final seconds will tick off this clock. And this kind of game gives the coach something to look at. Some areas to tweak before sectionals, and before the end of the end of the regular season. That'll wrap things up. Pioneers score four unanswered to win this one, five to two. We'll wrap it all up and put a period on this day of hockey. Right after this, on Back TV. Dennis McDonough. Two more times. Come on. He's going to collect in some kind of a basin up here. It is just an unbelievable experience and advantage that we're giving to kids. Ponies fall 5-2 to Hill Murray in a big section for AA matchup here tonight. Yeah, double group alongside Don Eckerin here to 
wrap things up on a great day of hockey. And uh, in terms of this one, it looked like Stillwater had the advantage going into the third, but after they couldn't convert on that power play, the game really shifted towards Hill Murray. Yeah, I think you just saw some of the talent of Hill Murray kind of take over in that third period. But Stillwater played a great game up to that, and I think they've got that to look at. And then they look at that third period and try to figure out what else do you want to tweak as this season, regular season comes to an end and as you prepare for the greatest tournament <laughs> in the country. And it's it's going to be, especially in Section 4 AA with the likes of Stillwater, White Bear, Lake Hill, Murray. It's always uh, fun to watch. And as they, you know, they're going to have some good games coming up, yep. as we mentioned, some tough opponents. But what do they have to do? What because everybody's looking forward to about a month from now in that section tournament. What do they have to do? Because you got to get by Hill Murray. you got to probably, you're probably going to have to beat Hill Murray and White Bear Lake in back-to-back -back games. What do they got to fix up before that? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the passing. Yeah. You know, get that, get, get the redirection, get the different angles, get that kind of yeah. thing going. Because I didn't see a lot of that today. Uh, I mean, they still, you saw the defensive effort that they had. They just have to match like Hill Murray's intensity. I think yep. they've got it. I like Bees as a goaltender, so you've yep. got a good piece there. Yep. Just protect him a little bit, and I think you've got what you need. And you've just got a couple games left to figure that out, and then you know, get a good run going. That'll wrap things up here uh, tonight. Of course, the girls getting the three to two overtime win over Woodbury in the first game of our doubleheader. That'll wrap things up here from the St. Croix Valley Rec Center tonight for all of our crew. Our director, Alex Susco, our technical director, Anders Engstrom, camera operator, Stephen Adams, and Jordan Simpkins. He's Don Ackerman. I'm Ted LaRue. Have a good night. We'll see you on Thursday night for Boys Swimming and Diving. Great job, guys. Have a great night. The preceding broadcast of Stillwater Pony Sports on VAT TV has been supported by Joseph's Restaurant. Thank you for watching Mac TV Sports. The preceding broadcast of Stillwater Pony Sports on Mac TV has been supported by Joseph's Restaurant. Thank you for watching. Mac TV Sports. The preceding broadcast.